Hello, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to talk about this tool in Clo 3D called 3D Pen. You can locate this function from the toolbar in 3D window. Or go to top window, under 3D Garment. You will be able to find it. There are two types of 3D pens. One is for garment and one is for avatar. First, let's talk about the 3D pen garment which is pretty simple. The way it works is very similar to internal polygon tool. It allows you to draw and create style lines directly on the garment. This will give you a better idea of how the design look like when the avatar is wearing the garment. To use this function, I have uploaded an outfit on the male avatar in 3D window. Click 3D pen garment from the toolbar. Click a point on the pattern outline to start drawing line directly on the garment. If you want to make curve lines, hold command or control and click a point. It will turn into a red point to let you move your mouse to create the curve shape. When you release command or control key and click a point, it will go back to the black dot which will create straight line only. Double click to end the function. Once the style line is created, you can use edit 3D pen garment. Right click on the style line to bring out option window. There are options like cut and sew, duplicate symmetrical line according to, to your design. You can still add a curve point to adjust the curve shape of the line. Besides creating style lines, you can use 3D pen to generate an internal shape on the pattern. When you are making an internal shape, your last point will meet with your start point to close the shape. You can cut and sew the pattern. Use Edit 3D Pen, right-click to turn it into an internal shape. Clone as pattern to make an overlay piece. Under 3D Pen Garment, you can also find 3D Base Pen. If you are good with freehand drawing, this 3D base pen will allow you to draw any shape or lines on the garment by holding left button on your mouse. However, you have to make sure all the points are connected when it's done. Then go to 2D window toolbar, use trace tool to convert it into internal shape or line. And use it as a cut and sew piece or as an overlay. To be honest, I don't find this 3D base pen very useful. In the newer Clo 3D version, you will see in 3D window toolbar, there's a function called draw style line. Just like 3D pen, you can use it to add style lines. However, you can only create lines from pattern outline to another pattern outline. You won't be able to draw an internal shape with this tool. When you use draw style line function, it will automatically cut and sew the style line for you. You don't need to hold command or control key to create curve shape. Just click a point and drag the line to change the curve. And click once to end the function. So, depending on your design, you can choose either 3D garment pen or draw style line tool to work on your project. Now you have an idea of how the 3D pen garment works. Let's move on to the 3D pen avatar. 
This is an useful tool when making a close-to-body fitted style such as swimwear, leggings, or lingeries. It allows you to draw a pattern outline directly on the avatar. Here I have brought a female avatar to the 3D window. Let me show you how to use this tool by making a pair of leggings. Go to 3D window toolbar to turn on show avatar measures. This can be your guide when drawing the lines. Click 3D pen avatar from the toolbar. For this leggings. I will create the center crotch line first. Click a point at waistline to start drawing center crotch seam. When you use this tool. Each segment line will be generated following the curve of the avatar body. You can hold shift at the same time to keep the line straight. Or. Hold command or control to change the curve. This crotch seam will start from center front waist and finish at center back waist. I have to rotate the avatar when drawing the line. Double click to end the segment. The next step. I will draw the waistline of the leggings. It's hard to control the curve shape when you have a long segment line. To make it easier, you can add more points instead. Also. When the line is connecting two segment lines. You only need to click once to end the function. Now the waistline is done. I am going to create the hem line around the ankle. Then draw the side seam and inseam. Now all the pattern outlines have been created. Go to 3D toolbar. Select flatten. This tool will generate your 3D drawing into pattern pieces in 2D window. Move the cursor to the pattern pieces on avatar. When the piece turn blue color, click once. Repeat the same to select all the pieces you need for the style. Click enter. And go to 2D window. You can see Clo 3D automatically transfer your 3D pen drawing into 2D patterns. However, these pattern pieces will need some adjustment since they usually come out as irregular shapes. This is an issue when using 3D avatar pen. Hopefully Clo 3D will improve this function in the future. For the adjustment, first, I need to rotate the pieces into correct grain line. Then correct and smooth the curved shape of the pattern pieces. Make sure each matching seams are the same length. By the way, if you check sewing relation, all the flattened pattern pieces are sewn together. Once I am done with the adjustment, select all the patterns. Right click and choose symmetric pattern with sewing to generate the other half of the leggings. Use sewing tool to connect front and back crotch seam. Rearrange pattern pieces in 3D window. Then click simulate. And there. I am almost done with the leggings. I will add a waistband pattern in 2D window to complete the look. So, this is how you use 3D pen avatar to make pattern. I am going to use draw style line tool to add contrast pieces to the leggings. And here is the final render result. The next demonstration, I am going to create a one-piece swimming suit. In the 3D window, I have uploaded a new avatar. First step. Turn on show avatar measures. 
Select avatar and go to property editor. Under body styling. Click the avatar icon to bring out style configurator. Change avatar underwear color to a lighter shade to be able to see the 3D pen drawing lines clearly. Click 3D avatar pen from the toolbar. The swimming suit I am making have bra cups design. So I can use the avatar's bra cups shape as my guide and start tracing. Next, I will start drawing the swimming suit outline on the avatar. If you are new to pattern making and don't know where to begin, it's always better to start from center front seam. For this swimming suit design, since it's symmetrical style, I only need to create half side of the pattern like what I did with the leggings example. Now I have completed the swimming suit outlines. Click flatten. Use cursor to click and select all the pattern pieces. When they are all in yellow colors, hit enter to convert them to 2D window patterns. If you have a hard time drawing lines around crotch area, Hold Shift and X to bring out avatar joints. Select the joint and use gizmo to move and open up legs. This way, you can easily draw the lines around thighs and crotch areas. Now I have all the pattern pieces generated in 2D window. It's time to adjust the shape, check line length, and smooth curve. Make sure to rotate all the pattern to the correct grain line. Remove unnecessary points from pattern outlines and convert them to curve points. By the way, when you flatten a pattern, if you want to make certain lines straight such as center front and center back seams, click Edit 3D Pen Avatar. Right click on the line to bring out the option window. Select Flatten as Straight Line. Then use Flatten to generate 2D pattern. And you can see the result with and without using flatten as straight line function. Also, if you have a hard time keeping shoulder straps stay in place, use tack on avatar from the 3D toolbar to attach the strap on avatar. Now I have finished adjusting 2D patterns. Select all the pieces. Right click and choose symmetric pattern with sewing. Double check and see if all the sewing lines are correct. Click simulate. Rearrange the pieces in 3D window. Everything looks great. I can start creating style lines. Change colors and add texture to finish the look.
Here is the final render result. I am happy with how it turned out. Thank you for watching. I hope you find this video helpful. Don't forget to click like and subscribe.